Hi, this is Jonathan Stark, and I want to show you how to set up your uh, local environment to develop PhoneGap apps for Android. And we're going to set up uh, an Eclipse environment uh, rather than doing it at the command line, which is also possible. So step one is to uh, open up your browser and go to eclipse.org slash downloads and find Eclipse Classic in the list. And in my case, I want to download the OS X 64 bit. If, you're, if, if, the, if your platform is not already selected, then select it here. Uh, but like I said, I'm on Mac and it's a 64 bit machine. So I'm going to start that download. And click on it there. It takes a while to download. I've already got it on my desktop, so I'll cancel this. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the Android SDK, uh, Android developer site, developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html, and download the Android SDK that's appropriate for your platform. So again, I'm on a Mac here, so I'm going to download this Android SDK uh, R15 at this point. And that downloads pretty quick. I've already got that on my desktop too, so I can cancel that. All right. First, I'm going to take the uh, Android archive, double click it to unzip, and it comes in named with a uh, platform specific uh, directory name, which I don't like. So I'm just going to change it to Android SDK and put it in my home folder. Okay, now I'm going to uh, double click to on archive the uh, Eclipse and I'm going to put that in my applications folder. You can put it anywhere you want really. Applications and we'll take this and drop it in there. Inside of that I want to launch Eclipse. It'll take a second. Uh, when Eclipse first launches, you might come to a uh, welcome screen, which is kind of confusing for some people. Ironic because it's supposed to probably help them, but um, let's see where I go. So, okay, so you'll get this uh, workspace launcher. This is just asking me where I want to store my projects. Uh, I'll just leave the default, which is in my user directory, Documents, Workspace. I can say, don't ask me this anymore. You can change that in the preferences later if you do want to. So this will load up, and like I said, sometimes when you get here, it's going to look like this. And if it does show up like this, just click on Workbench right here. All right, so now we've got Eclipse set up. Eclipse is a generic IDE for software development. It's not specific to Android, so we want to make it specific to Android or customize it for Android. So I'm going to go into Preferences and point out that there's nothing in here about Android. We're going to change that right now by going into uh, Help, Install New Software, tap on the Add button, and we'll just name this ADT Plugin. ADT stands for Android Developer Tools, and the URL for that is https dl ssl.google.com slash android slash eclipse, which I always have a hard time spelling. So hit OK there and, and give it a second. It's going to load up right here in the, uh, there we go, the developer's tools showed up. And we want to check all of those with the next button. And hit next again. You can read your licenses and accept the terms and then hit finish. This will run for a little bit.
I always get this security warning and you can look at the details it's all Android specific stuff I just say okay you can't continue without it so I just click through there and then at this point we want to restart Eclipse when this opens back up Second, okay. So it's gonna tell it tells me that it couldn't find the SDK folder that it's looking for. This it's picking up this path from a previous install, my preferences. Uh, so if you get this message, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Uh, you go into Eclipse Preferences and see now Android is here. And what I want to do is update this path to Android SDK right here. And I, I've had problems in the past where the apply button or the OK button weren't active here. So uh, adding, a, uh, adding a trailing slash fixed that for me in the past. So if you have that problem, you might want to try that. You're going to get this uh, Android SDK verification alert. It's OK because we're going to fix this in a second. By going under the window menu and launching the Android SDK Manager. So the Android SDK that we downloaded is really just a shell. Uh, it doesn't include all these different platforms. Um, you know, there are a lot of different Android platforms available and they're pretty large. So it doesn't, you know, they're not all included by default in the download. So I'm just going to install Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich uh, for now. Uh, this can take a minute uh, because like I said, they are pretty large. You want to click install packages, then you're going to get to the uh, package install, accept the terms, and hit install. There's another message that uh, seems to come up, uh, ADB, it's uh, Android Debug Bridge, I think it stands for. And I, I virtually always get this kill server failed. You may not get it. You may get it. I think it's because I've installed it so many times. Um, but it's not caused a problem for me, so I just ignore it. Close this log. It's also visible down here. All right. So the download finally finished, and we want to restart the Android debug bridge now. It's that server we were talking about before. And there we go. Hold on. All right, so now we have uh, Android in here. Everything we need. And again, the new project. And Android's now an option in here. 